he wanted to do an interview with me. And this is nobody knows this shit. Y'all, this is a fucking boss talk exclusive. That's real talk. <laughs> boss talk. If I got more three killed, why would I interview Rainwater twice, bro? Mm. No, nah, that's real. Think that's about real. it. No, that's, that's I real. I interviewed his manager twice. twice. Yeah, yeah. If I got more three killed, why would Rainwater want two interviews for me? If yeah. I got Mo3 yeah. killed, why when I ran into Mo3's brother at the Cowboys game, he wanted to work? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Never. So he gets upset and he mentions the Mo3 shit, right? Yeah, no, I want to get to that. that. I, I want to get. That. I want to get to that. Cause and I never really spoke this open on the Mo3 shit. Okay. The Mo3 shit didn't get real until Roy Lee died. Right. Okay. Can we confirm that? Yeah, no, in the that's room. Yes, that's true. Yes, Have I know. ever interviewed Roy Lee? No, no. I've never talked. I, I had one phone conversation with Roy Lee, and he wanted to do an interview with me. And this is nobody knows this shit, y'all. This is a fucking boss talk exclusive. That's real talk. <laughs> boss talk, me. <laughs> Roy Lee wanted to do an interview with me, trying to expose Yellow Beezy and where he's from, where he's not. I said this was a time that's on me going crazy. Yeah, I said I would never do that to Roy uh, to, to Yellow Beezy. I would never have somebody smear Yellow Beezy on his way up. No. I would never do that. He wanted to do, to do an interview. Disrespecting Yellow Beezy. Roy Lee did. That was the only time I spoke to him. When when Roy Lee got jumped at a club in like 2015 or 16, right? I was living in LA at the time, South Central LA, 72nd and Central, I, I think. Uh something. I don't know. Um he got Roy Lee got jumped in the club. I think he got jumped twice. I think that's where it spiraled up, mm -hmm. right there. I never interviewed Roy Lee. When he died, that's when it got real. Not when the Pick Six song, when I interviewed them about the Pick Six. Trap Boy and Mo3 seen each other several times since. If somebody was gonna die, it would've happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I got it. it, it people are it, casuals. See, Charleston White is a casual when it comes to, he knows his shit, oh, yeah. but he doesn't really know the timeline, I don't think. I think he was in LA at the time. Yeah. I think I was, me and him was in yeah, LA at the same, same time. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't think people know the timeline of, but if you sit back and go back and look on YouTube, it's like, damn, Say Cheese was in the mix of that shit. Mm -hmm. But real life Street Stars was too. Yeah, yeah. If I got Mo3 killed, why would I interview Rainwater twice, bro? Mm -hmm. No, nah, that's real. Think that's about real. it. No, that's, that's I real. I interviewed his manager twice. twice. Yeah. Yeah. If I got Mo3 killed, why would Rainwater want two interviews for me? If yeah. I got Mo3 yeah. killed, why when I ran into Mo3's brother at the Cowboys game, he wanted to work? Some yeah. people would say because you're just playing smart. No, no, what do you mean play smart? Meaning like to make it look like you didn't. I stopped. I called Trap Boy Freddy. I remember I was off Ross. I was off 70 Highway 75 and Ross Street. I called Trap Boy Freddy and um he was he was open to really sit down with Mo three. He was open. It would have been done. Mm. It was it was Bay Bay, J Prince, and it was me that was all trying to sit him down. Trap Boy was like, "Yo, let's like let's sit down and do it." Mo three wasn't a oh, Mo three wasn't trying to hear it at that time. This was before even Roy Lee got killed. So I'm saying, yeah. So it's the timeline of things. If people go back and look at the time, yes, I interviewed both of them because you got to think. If you interview both people, you're playing both sides. Yeah. If you interview one, you're choosing sides. Mm -hmm. To lose, lose, bro. But let me ask you this: It really it touched the nerve when 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 Charleston said so that lose. you you um you know that's the same thing that got Mo three killed. That shit hurt me too. It hurt you because dude. why would you wait eight interviews later to say that? Why would you want to work with me if you if I if I did get him killed, Charleston White? Why would you wait? Wow. Me and me. Me um, me interviewing Charleston White about Sauce Walker and then interviewing Sauce Walker. We all know their characters. Sauce right. Walker's funny as fuck. Everybody was was loving it. It was funny. It wasn't. It wasn't no street shit. You asked him. You said something, and he was like, oh, "You talking about Granddaddy?" And, yeah. and he started to go into you know the fact of I'm just going and and it. I didn't. I didn't like I said I watch your interview so I didn't take it no crazy way. It wasn't but crazy. I felt like you know. But I understand where Charleston coming from too because of the fact that like we I, I took Charleston down the uh, down the fast bash and one of Sauce Walker's 
uh, one of their camp's managers was there, and I was like, dang, I remember they was into it, but I didn't flex. So when I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and him was down there, and I, I got him on that show with with uh, Mama Scott and him, mm-hmm. and they was doing their thing, and I thought about it, and I was just, it was certain things, it was certain ways I would handle certain things when I was with him to try to shy away from the things that I felt like he had intertwined with. Yeah, so, so, sauce, Charleston becoming that sauce for like a year and a half before I, I interviewed Charleston. I know. So Charleston has been mentioning Sauce in you know maybe one or two of our interviews. I interviewed Sauce for the first time in four years. I can't I can't say nothing about it. Yeah, I, I can't mention your name. Six, six months ago, we was Shaq and Kobe and Jordan and Pippen, and and I'm helping keeping you relevant. You could use me. We can use each other. Why is it not like that no more? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.